Hey guys, Tony McMillan, Walnut Ridge Family RV Sales, Newcastle, Indiana. Hey, I'm coming to you today with uh, a question that we've been asked fairly often. Uh, what's your differences realistically, uh, camping-wise, whether you go from a travel trailer to a fifth wheel to a motorhome, and what are some of the advantages? So first off, I'm going to start off in this unit, which is a 2019 Cougar 32 BHS fifth wheel. This particular fifth wheel comes in at about 9,200 pounds, and it is half-ton towable by a lot of the new half-ton truck standards. Half-ton trucks being the number one selling trucks in America, this gives you the capability to not have to have a $75,000 diesel three-quarter ton or one-ton truck to tow, and it's going to give you all the, the luxuries and all the features that, that you might be looking for. Like most of your RVs in your kitchen area, you've got a 50-50 sink with a single lever faucet and a sprayer. It's got your microwave, your three burner stove, and your oven. Of course, a double door refrigerator with the freezer on top, but tons of sleeping space in this particular unit. Back here, you've got a great bunk area. In a perfect world, it never rains in the campground but we know that that's not what really happens. So one of the cool things about this particular layout is this top bunk on this side flips up, latches into place, and then there's a sofa underneath. So in those times when you've got inclement weather and you've got the kids or the grandkids with you, there is an opportunity for them to have a place to sit. There's a place for a television to be installed back here. That The sofa does break down to make a bed, so you can have two beds here plus the two beds here. So sleeping capability for four back here and still tons of room with storage space and all those things. Of course, you also have the luxury that if you're not taking the grandkids or the kids with you and it's just going to be more of a uh, couple's camp, you don't have to open the slide back there. You can leave this door shut. And now you've just got a couple's coach or grandma and grandpa's coach. Plenty of room at the sofa and dinette that's in here. And really a great layout. You've got a fireplace that's a 5100 BTU electric heater. Allows you to knock the chill off in here on cool uh, spring or fall mornings. And it's not something uh, then that you're burning your, your propane on. Your television... And of course, your bedroom's all up front. So just a quick little walkthrough on a fifth wheel to give you some of the ideas. We'll go over and take a look at a travel trailer next and then a motorhome. Hey, now we're in our second unit. What I wanted to do now was take you through a 2019 Cougar travel trailer. This is a 34 TSB floor plan. Comes in at about 8,600 pounds, so again, half ton towable. No need for a three quarter ton or a one ton truck, but a ton of living and camping space inside this unit. So some of the similarities to the fifth wheel that we saw, you've got a big booth dinette. This particular unit's got theater seats in it. Both of these are recliners. They sit directly across from the entertainment center, which is your television. Again, you've got your uh, 5100 BTU electric heater in your fireplace. You can see now with opposing slides in this floor plan, you've got a ton of countertop space here, your 5050 stainless steel sink, sta uh, the single lever faucet with sprayer. Again, your three burner stove, oven, microwave, refrigerator and freezer on this side. So similarities, same type of things, but back here you've got your bunk area, almost the identical layout on this particular bunkhouse. Here you can see the top bunks flipped up, your sofa then is available, and then you've got your two bunks on this side as well as a place for your television back here. So again, just another great opportunity to have a similar floor plan. And this gives you the capability that if you've got an SUV, you've got a Tahoe or an Expedition or a Suburban or something like that, you still have plenty of camping room in this unit. Or even if you've got a truck cap uh, on the, the pickup truck and you don't want to go to a fifth wheel, you can still take a lot of people and have a lot of sleeping space in a travel trailer and still stay super lightweight. 
Next thing we'll take a look at is a motorhome. The third unit we're going to take a look at is a Class C motorhome. So since we took a look at a travel trailer and a fifth wheel, both that had bunk beds, I thought it was only fair to stay with the same type of floor plan design in the motorhome. Yes, they are available even with bunk beds in a motorhome. So in this particular unit, this is a 2019 Sunseeker 32-foot Class C motorhome on a Ford Gas Triton V10 chassis. So in this particular unit, some of the similarities, of course, are going to be a booth dinette. You are going to have an additional bunk up over your driver and passenger compartment along with your entertainment center. You've got a sofa behind the driver's seat that has two recliners in it. Some of the similarities again, your three burner stove, oven, microwave. You've got a single bowl stainless steel sink. It's a single lever faucet with a sprayer. And again, over here you have your refrigerator. So your freezer on top, refrigerator on bottom. Now staying with the bunks, we've got the same sort of layout that we had on the two Cougars. You've got a sofa down below that will fold down to make a bed with a bunk up overhead that's flipped up right now. Flip the latches, drop it down, now you've got a bunk. Right directly across from the sofa is an entertainment center for the TV, or entertainment center for the sofa rather, and then of course back into your back bedroom. So some similarities all the way through your units, whether you're looking at a travel trailer, trailer, a fifth wheel, or a motorhome, is going to give you the capability that you can have tons of sleeping capacity and take you and your family on adventures that'll last a lifetime. We'll talk to you soon, guys.